And I even heard heard them talk about throwing salt over your shoulder uh, with eating or something. I can't remember what it was, but yeah, I heard that. I heard that too. Yep. So it's some properties about to salt that got some kind of supernatural elements to it as well. So all of these minerals. But like, see, a, a lot of herbs got that. To be honest, a lot of herbs is like saving lives, even alloy. See? Like how you think people created lotion and stuff like that. And, and and to keep your body hydrated, the alloy plant, they figured out they could rub that on their skin, get get rid of all that ashy, dry skin and, and smoothing yep. out their skin, you know? Oh, well, aloe. aloe vera. Aloe vera, bro, I'm telling you, like, aloe vera is an aqua weed plant, bro. Yeah, that thing is crazy. It's a, it's that thing a, it's is crazy. A, like, aqua, aloe vera is a aqua weed plant. That's what I think it is. I ain't gonna lie, I was introduced to that, you know what I mean? When I was like 13, 14, my, uh, one of my great aunts put me on, you know, I had a mosquito bite. She like, listen, mosquito bites, cuts, burns, it don't matter what the hell you going through, this shit is going to cure it. Well, see, and, 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 that's, and, and that's just like with bee stings when you get bit by a bee. Like my great grandmother, she used to take uh this stuff called snuff. I don't know if y'all familiar with that. It's like yeah, I know what it is. Yeah, yep. they used to take that and they'll put that on a bee sting or ant bite and something. They'll rub that on that. And I experienced that because I'm I'm from North Carolina, but I done been to the deep south of South Carolina, like places like Mac being with the Pune, you know. And, and there's yeah. dirt roads, hogs walking on the roads, all kinds of country stuff going on. <laughs> and, and for real, I mean, they had a thing of snuff. And right. she used a chew the snuff like tobacco. And she'll chew it up and she'll spit it on a bee sting or 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 an ant bite. And, right. and, and you know, that, that that's just to show us like ancient remedies that that, that we had. And, and all of these came from other civilizations, even when they said you, 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 you got a cold. You, put, you drink some tea mixed with honey. And, and I remember great grandmother. Like now I was a kid, but I remember these because my parents told the stories and all that stuff, too. You know, she, you, you put onions in your socks that help get rid of a cold. All that stuff. We look at that yeah, shit. Day, like, like, like that sound crazy, but no, nah, that shit really worked though. Yeah, that shit. That's some real shit. Yeah, you right, yeah. And they, see, they people, 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 put, people don't like, look at that knowledge no more because they want to look at science and all this and that. They say, ah, oh, that's just some old lady remedy and shit. Nah, that shit is actually real, man. Man, that's crazy. Man, that's real though. Yeah. yeah. My phone about to sneeze. I just was handing in this uh, pepper in my kitchen. <laughs> Are you good, bro? I'm cooking too, man. <laughs> but I was going to say that, um, you know, they, they still say that uh, if you're sick, you know, put that onion in your sock, man, sleep, sleep. You know, by the time you wake up, the onion been and absorbed all the sickness out of your body through the bottom of your feet, you know. Yeah. And, and that yep. lets you know, again, that the, the body is a full system. So fully functioning system at all times. That also, you know yeah. Mean? That also lets you know Mother Nature don't just cure the inside of your body, but also the outside. Cures the cures the whole thing. But, the, but and, and not even that. And you knew who knew the knowledge of plants and everything and had that green thumb since the beginning of time? Women. Yep. Right. Women knew how how to use these herbs and foods and stuff, how to incorporate it in the meat or or, or make salads with it. They knew what to eat, what to use as medicines, what to use as healing. Supplements yep. for your skin and yep. all that stuff, like World like, first like they like the, woman, like bro. they say during during slave times, you had the big mama. That was the lady in, that that stayed in the big house. She was the one, even though she stayed in the little slave hut behind the big house on the plantation. But every day, every night, she'd be in there and she would coach everybody, tell them what to do. As situations happen, they they go to big mama, big mama. Would, would be like the heart and soul of that slave plantation because she knew all the ancient remedies that was passed down. That's true. Up. She's the smartest one on on the plantation. And, 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 they used to, and they used to call them a deer. Ain't that something? Right. My right. deer. Yeah. Tyler, 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 hey, I ain't gonna say his name, but he took that name and ran with it, not even realizing like they used to actually call like the like like the big mama that was that was her name. And, and like most plantation, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that that's 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 real. I know they called it that. Yeah, my dear. Yeah. Hey, but, but you know look, how for real. This is what we need to do, man. For like, for like the future, bro. Like niggas need to. We need to like research really on how to help 
all diseases, like as far as mucus and shit. We since we know it's all mucus, bro. Everything is yeah. mucus based. All the di- all the diseases, all ailments to the body is mucus based. Like, if we really want to capitalize on this knowledge, we need to start using that research and building off of it, just like the opposition is doing. Yeah. They just using it for their advantage, but if we could we could use that same knowledge to fight. Oh, for sure. That's what the resistance is. Yeah, you can use it against them. Yeah, you got you gotta beat them at their own game, bro, because they basically playing both sides of the same game. They playing both sides. So in order to play that position, you know what I mean? They're gonna always control it, you know. I and I I always relate it back to Jewish culture because that's that's the first culture I know to do that, you know. But the but the truth is that's I think that's all. Any anything that has to do with kings and queens, man. That no no form of royalty fights battles, you know. Yeah. As as much as movies and things like to depict uh, kings and queens and princes and princesses in in wars and things, that's that's just untrue. You know what I mean? They don't have a need to be on the battlefield. Uh, poor people suffer, while the privileged, as I like to call them, you know, get to sit back and watch these things. You know, so I, yeah. I'll always be mindful. Uh, when, when y'all ever heard the story of Buddha? Y'all know y'all know about Buddha, right? Well, break it down a little bit because I haven't done enough research on it. Well, when I was when I was uh when I was back in North Carolina, I actually met a Buddhist man, and this lady, this lady was every bit of eighty three years old, man, and she lived right. by herself, and her daughter would come come through every time, every day, every once in a while, I'd get her groceries, whatever she need, but the lady was still walking around and moving around, and she smoked a blunt with me, man. I ain't even afraid to tell y'all this. She smoked <laughs> a blunt with up. me, bro. And she put me on some knowledge, man. She said, she told me the story of Buddha. She told me exactly who he was and all of that. And she had this little scroll in her living room, man, like this little shrine or whatever. Like it wasn't no crazy shit. It was just nice. It was like, it was like she was giving respect to this, you know what I'm saying, for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So she told me about it. And um, the story of Buddha is basically he was a prince in a palace. All right. And uh Buddha basically he grew up he grew up you know what I'm saying basically lavish lifestyle his dad always his his dad and his mom always basically kept you know kept kept him with whatever he, whatever he needed basically so he wanted to know you know what was life like outside of the palace the walls what was life like outside of the, of the uh, off the uh, grounds of the plant of the palace so what he did was he left the palace uh, I think when he was like uh 13 or something he left the palace at like 13 and he basically when he when he left the palace walls everything changed for him because he started to learn he 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 socialized with other people he saw what they went through in life and he, he didn't have to deal with that so he wanted to experience what they went through and uh he starved himself this dude basically he he, he banned with a bunch of homeless people he wanted to feel their pain he, he banned with they banned with a bunch of homeless people and stayed in the jungle with them uh, I think it was about three years or something like that. And this dude was fasting with them the whole nine yards. Like he could have easily went back to the palace and got him something to eat. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But he said, That's crazy. he said in order for him to understand nature and understand life, he had to see it from all perspectives. He had to understand, you know what I'm saying? He had to understand everything about life. You know what I'm saying? He, he didn't have to, he didn't want to experience one side of life. He wanted to experience the ups and the downs. So, what he did was he did he 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 fasted and he became he became a sim, a symbolic figure throughout his life as a person uh well respected because people knew who he was. People yeah, knew that. he was a prince. People knew who knew he knew who he was and at that time it was unheard of for a prince to do it do what he was doing. So, you know, the people that respected him, they followed him. You know what I'm saying? And he he became a leader, a spiritual leader. Because he would meditate, he learned the art of meditation at an early at an early age. And, with the and he would meditate for, for days yeah. at, at a time to to, yeah. to find this thing called enlightenment. And, and and yo, like this dude could could like literally go two months without eating. Yep, and and he didn't even see food as an essential. No, nope. because I don't know if y'all heard of this, but have y'all ever heard of anything called lucid dreaming? Yeah. yeah. With, with you know with the chakra and far as all that now yeah now they say lucid dreaming the dream is so real that you know you're there in the dream you can control the dream because you know most of the time when when people are asleep 
their eyelids closed and they're dreaming out, realizing that they're dreaming, they're, they're unconscious to, to what their mind got going on, you right. know? So, so when, when, you, when you think about lucid dreaming, you're actually in your dream. You know you're in your dream. You could change any way, shape, or form, but they say you, you see things, but and you see faces from like from when you was conscious and woke. You see uh things like faces of people, but it don't necessarily be the actually same shape or form of that person. But when you wake up, you 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 find that resemblance. That's why they say when you wake up, you forget your uh your dreams like a like about three minutes after you wake up, or maybe even less than that if you're not thinking about it. Because when you wake up, you get your attention on something else and you forget your whole dream that life if it wasn't so if it wasn't that whole night, if it wasn't so devastating. Hold on a minute, yeah. guys. Oh, yeah. Now, I definitely see that. I, uh, you know, my pop tried to put me on to remember on my dreams, you know, and trying to control my dreams, which is why even to this day, if I dream about something, if if, if it ain't right, you know what I mean? If, if, if it's not a, a normal form of my imagination my regular, yeah my day-to-day -day perspective you know what i mean if if, if, it's, yeah. if it's different than what how i view the world then i wake up automatically because because i you know he tried to train me to think you know to 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 know that i'm in a dream while i'm in a dream you know which might might mess me up a little bit you know because i should probably see more so what's going on inside my dream instead of uh trying to wake up from it all the time which which i find myself doing you know? Have you ever thought that maybe dreams is actually you actually are in spirit form and the world oh, around yeah. you didn't really change, but your spirit is in a different part of the world and the people that you come in contact in your dream with are actually sleeping as well and they spirit form is in the same realm that your spirit form is in and that's why y'all in the same dream. Right, right. Like who's to say who's to say when you dream and you see people in your in your dream or your sleep and it's at night in the middle of the night when mostly everybody sleep, you know what I'm saying? And they sleep too. Who's to say y'all not dreaming the same dream? That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's like from your perspective, you your perspective was you was driving in a in a in an old school and you went to go pick up your homeboy to go smoke, and that was the dream. Where your homeboy right. was sleeping in his dream, it was you picking him up to go smoke. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if that? What if that is really the reality of dreams? You know, like, and 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 the reason why we haven't discovered that yet is because of the memory problem with that we have attached to the dream world. Like, you know, remembering your dream is a hard is a hard quality and hard ability to attain, man. No, that's is. a very hard that's a very hard task to actually attain in a world that's flooding you with distractions from yourself because the but, world but is here the to most, distract you from yourself but, but, ain't, ain't, but, ain't, but ain't that the whole point though you know what i mean that's why we got so many different tv shows and stuff like that it's kind of trying to control the way your your brain processes things right so yeah, if we was yeah. in nature our dreams yeah. would be a lot more different than the reality I mean, will be a lot more different than the dreams are of today because of the things that are being filled in our head on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So that's that's all a part of the brainwashing uh, that they do, you know, when it comes to us. You know what I mean? We, it there is no need for so much information to be entering your brain every day the way it does, you know. But they make sure that it does. Every yep, time. and there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. There's a big, there's a very important reason for that. They want to keep flooding you with all these distractions so that they can, they can, for one, gauge your intelligence at a faster rate so that they can connect with you at a faster rate, just in case you happen to be the chosen one. Cause there is somebody, I think it's a group of people that they are waiting for that they know is wait that they know is going to exist at some point, you know, and that's why they have the medical system the way they have it, where it's always monitored. Best believe they have a, if they have a baby that's born tomorrow and this baby's IQ rate is abnormal or this baby's growth rate is abnormal, it's gonna be it's gonna catch the eye of the government. So, right. you know, uh, I think the reason why they flood you with so much distractions is because they don't want you to focus on not only yourself but the world you live in to the point where you actually do make intelligent decisions and intelligent actions on uh, capitalizing on the world we live in because. You know, a lot of 
sometimes we hear we hear stories about our history and they they always want to pale our existence to be greater than theirs like they were they was much 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 less intelligent than we are today like as if the as if the guy that's in school nowadays that made all 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 a's in school he's much more intelligent than the people that was in school back in them days making all a's you see what i'm saying so at the end of the day bro they know what they're looking for and in order to find it they gotta they gotta keep everybody else busy and 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 look through look through what's 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 being put out they gotta look through what's being put out they gotta they got to weed through everybody to see if they can find a specific person they're looking for, which is why you have fraternities, you have college, you have um, government funding schools, you got schools where you have to go to school. All of these laws where you have to be put in these government institutions is for them to monitor you, know who you are, so they can label you, they put a number on you and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? So when we look at shit like that, we understand how the world is being ran we'll understand what their agenda is. Cause once you realize how the King is running his temple, you understand why he's running his temple that way. And then you can see what the possibilities are on what his agenda is on after he's running his, his, his temple this way. What is his end game? You see what I'm saying? Everybody got an end game. Yeah, it's always you know what I'm saying? Game. Don't nobody, even, even, even the best president in the world don't want to be president forever. Right. Yeah. Like even the yeah. best King in the world don't want to be King forever. They all got an end game. They all want to end up living their life to their to their best abilities, you know, with the people they care about, people they love and doing what they love. That's that's every human beings. um, You know, that's what they want to be doing, you know, at the end at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, because they want to do their service and then they want to get the hell out of there because they know there's a lot of shit that comes with that power. And then once even being in 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 that uh, position, you realize that you don't even really have no power. As yep, motherfuckers you know that. don't even got no. You can't even say what they do. They they can take your head off if they want it to, and you yep, don't. Man. You you can be the president of a fucking country. There, like there's yep. organizations out there that's bigger than than what you think, and there's other stuff going on. Yep. Yep. Sure is. Yeah, and we just look at the, all we got to do is look at our opponent and see all the all the resources they have, all the tools that they have to the expo- dis- disposal. They got androids, which are actual computers that walk on two legs, look like you and I probably got faces of dead people on them. You see what I'm saying? Walking around, gaining citizenship in other nations. That's one resource and tool for they, today's disposal. Then they got and why do things walking around? They, they, they're gaining re- uh, information. Yeah, and, and 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 that no anything that's been put on the internet, the web, anything, even on somebody's yeah. computer, they ain't even got to be connected. That robot probably has the technology up that to infiltrate anything and, and, and download shit right right while I was sipping coffee, right next right next them, to you. Them, you download that thing, thing on your damn phone. To tell you the truth, them things gonna be the biggest fucking hackers of the world, and they are gonna break down these countries the, and stuff. The structure. And, yeah, they not even realizing. Robots and, and, is gonna be the reason why the world looked like shit, just like they just like it did in Terminator. In Terminator, and, the world looked it like shit, and that's why because the robots, the robots is gonna yeah. be, is gonna be the reason. And why. even with this Bitcoin stuff, you're trying to do this digital, this digital cryptocurrency, where 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 you're promising all this money, man. They not even got Android out there controlling shit like. And yeah. walking around and walking around changing numbers on the stock market and shit. That, that, that's just that's just another way for them to tell you. How much money you got and stuff like that, like, yeah, uh, yeah, motherfucker, Android sitting next to you, be like, be a, hey, uh, sir, I know that you are awaiting your paycheck the next two weeks, but um, because you just talk shit to me, I'm gonna hack your system and deduct the next twenty dollars that you're gonna get out of that paycheck. And you know that that's just like PayPal and or any other things. You give your credit card numbers. I say you got a subscription to Xbox Live, right? Yep. And you don't gave them your card number. They gonna take that money out. See, that's just another way of controlling your money. With, with and people don't realize this artificial intelligence. They're gonna blame it it's, on a rogue robot. Yeah. Oh, we gotta find a robot to get you guys money back. We yeah. can't find yeah. the robot. Yeah, all this dumb ass shit is just opening up room for excuses for their ass to make, bro. That's what I realized. Because these robots and shit, they're gonna use these robots to it, do even that. that one bank cor- <laughs> one bank corporation. It was uh I don't I, I can't say which one it was, but y'all know if what I'm talking about, but they was taking dead people's social security numbers and putting them in bank accounts 
and employees were actually making money off that all the way just, up to the ceo i just want to know what would happen if they actually uh enforced the these androids and made them made them cops and you know they get well, a, you a know, 9-1 call one day hold on they get a 9-1 call one day and some guy is being accused of of um stealing something but this guy is innocent and soon as the robot uh reaches the guy to arrest the guy the guy gets scared as fuck and try to run and the robot kills his ass and then come to find out the guy was innocent what they gonna do to the robot deprogram that motherfucker scrap his ass and make a new one what are they gonna do you know because it cost them so much money to build these robots are they just gonna fucking put his ass in defective and then just keep it rolling what Not are they gonna that. do it, it it costs money to program the robot to tell the yeah. robot how to think what to do how how to react upon yeah. what we know is free will with certain situations that's going on around it you know and so, it takes money just to keep that programming up to date it takes and money that's just why to we go to back date. to saudi arabia with the sophie robot we was just looking at yeah they, and saudi arabia yeah. guess what else they doing they actually building up a, a robotic police force made of fucking robots they're gonna be a police force out there in saudi arabia you can look it up i'm not bullshitting they actually that's our a robot robot. Police. That's our robot they're trying to take over saudi arabia man now we need to look at why why they trying to do that what the fuck is so what the fuck is saudi arabia doing that's so fucking bad to the united states i don't i just want to know all they do is sell all they do is sell me blunts you know